Hey guys, welcome to the next episode of Do It Yourself From House to Home. If you're new here, my name is Ellie and we do lots of fun crafting and DIYs on this channel. And today I'm so excited to be co-hosting another fun challenge. It's our Hello Spring Challenge. And joining me today is Tammy from The Rusted Willow and our guest host is Shannon from Shannon's Crafty DIYs. So I'll be sure to leave the links to their channels as well as the playlist in my description box and let's get to it. Alrighty, for our first DIY today, I'm going to be using this copper charger from the Dollar Tree, and I'm going to start off by painting it with a couple coats of some white Waverly chalk paint, and you can always spray paint it, it just takes a little bit longer to dry. Next, I'm going to be using a page from this 2022 Dollar Tree calendar, and I'm going to use their April page, this adorable little circular bunny, and I'm going to start off by measuring it and cutting out the corners here to fit our charger. And now that we have the right shape, I'm going to go in and add a layer of some Mod Podge, and then I'll add our image, and then we'll add another layer of Mod Podge on top. Once it's all dry, I'm going to go in with a pencil and I'm just going to continue on those lines here on the side of our little sign. And then I'm going to go in with a little bit of some gray folk art chalk paint just to blend it in a bit. Next, I made this cute burlap bow using some Dollar Tree burlap ribbon, and I'm going to use my hot glue gun to add it to the top of our sign. And then I also have these little greenery picks, and I'm just going to add a few to each side of our bow. And last but not least, I'm going to add this cute little wooden bunny cut out from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to add it to our bow using some hot glue. And that'll be it for this adorable Charger Easter sign DIY. What do you guys think? For our next project today, I'm going to be using this cute little house shape sign from the Dollar Tree. And I started off by using my Silhouette Cameo 4 to print out this adorable little stencil that says Hello Spring. And I'm going to add it to the center of our sign. Next, I'm going to go in and paint the hello portion using a little bit of some folk art blue and white chalk paint mixed together. And then I'm going to go in and add a few little pink details using some pink folk art chalk paint and then some celery waverly chalk paint. And last but not least, I'm going to paint the spring portion using some lilac folk art chalk paint. Next, we're going to carefully remove our stencil to reveal the beautiful Hello Spring underneath. And then I made this cute little burlap bow using some Dollar Tree burlap ribbon. And last but not least, I'm going to use my hot glue gun to add our bow to our sign and then another cute little bunny cutout to the top. And there we have our beautiful Hello Spring sign DIY. And if you guys are new here, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. And I always leave the links to my social media in my description box as well, like to my blog and my Instagram. And this is where I share sneak peeks and behind the scenes, so don't forget to check out those links as well. Alrighty, and for our next DIY today, I'm going to start off by painting this cute little bunny tag from a Dollar Tree set and some medium wooden beads using that same pink folk art chalk paint. Next, I'm going to paint several small beads using white folk art chalk paint, and then I'm going to stain a few using some antique Waverly wax. Mm -hmm. 
Alrighty, now that all of our pieces are dry, I went ahead and threaded our beads onto a piece of some Dollar Tree cotton twine, and then I'll just add our cute little bunny to one side, and then I made a little jute twine tassel for the other end. And that'll be it for this adorable DIY! For our next project today, I'm going to be using these three plastic eggs from the Dollar Tree. And I'm going to start off by painting one using our blue paint mixture. Next, I'm going to paint our second egg using our pink folk art chalk paint. And last but not least, we're going to paint our third egg using our lilac folk art chalk paint. Next, for our little lilac egg, I'm going to go in with my white Dollar Tree metallic marker and I'm going to add a bunch of little polka dots. And for our blue egg, I'm going to go in and add some cute little dashes that look like little confetti pieces. Alrighty, and last but not least, for our pink egg, I'm going to add a bunch of little hearts all the way around. And here's how our three beautiful Easter eggs came out. I think they're so, so cute and they fit today's theme perfectly. What do you guys think? Alrighty, and for our last DIY today, I'm going to be using this rectangular sign and these cute little bunny cutouts from the Dollar Tree. And I'm going to start off by removing their little tails. Next, I'm going to paint our first little bunny using our blue paint mixture. And then I'm going to paint our other two bunnies using our folk art pink and lilac colors. Next, I'm going to add this adorable Happy Easter stencil that I printed out using my Silhouette Cameo 4. And I'm just going to use one of my little bunnies here to measure where I want to add it. And then I'm going to fill it in with some black folk art chalk paint. And then we're going to go ahead and carefully remove our stencil and then weed out the little parts. Then we're going to add our little bunny tails back on using my hot glue gun. Next, I'm going to use my hot glue gun to add our three little bunnies to the bottom of our sign. And last but not least, I'm going to use some Dollar Tree to try and wrap it around the top of our sign a few times and make a cute little bow in the front. And once we have our bow, I'll just secure it with my hot glue gun. And that'll be it for today's beautiful spring DIYs. I really hope you guys enjoyed them. Please let me know which one was your favorite in the comment section below.
Thank you so much for watching today's episode, you guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button, as well as that little notification bell to be notified when I release new content. And I'll be sure to leave the links to my Etsy shop, as well as my social media in my description box. And we'll see you next time.